Police reform in Illinois has been a controversial topic kicking off 2021. State lawmakers passed a bill they say will hold officers accountable, but there's already a law in Illinois meant to track potential racial profiling across the state. It's been around for nearly two decades, but as 13 investigates found out, the data collected is not enforced, and some police departments say the data isn't even accurate. This guy's at 42, we'll stop him. For Rochelle officer Ryan Beery, police work is his calling. This job means everything to me and my family. Traffic stops. The reason I stopped you is for your speed. Come with the job. Good evening, I'm Officer Beery. I'm not a big, just hammer every person with a ticket. I, I think you can get more out of just talking with people. If I pull over people, I, I don't care what color they are that's driving the vehicle. It's what infraction they commit. But the state does care what race he's pulling over. It's why Beery and every other officer across the state have to document it. On here is white, black or African American, American Indian or an Alaskan native. That information is for the state's annual traffic and pedestrian stop study. Here's how it works. Every time an officer pulls someone over, they have to fill out what happened during the stop. Was the vehicle searched? Was the person ticketed? Did they get off with a warning? Researchers then use the driving population in a community to see if minorities, like black drivers, are pulled over at a higher rate, ticketed and searched more than white drivers. The whole purpose is to make sure police departments aren't showing bias against minorities. I do believe in the study. Um, I believed in it in 2004 and I still believe in it because I do think it holds you accountable. Roscoe's police chief says implicit bias exists everywhere and keeping track of who officers are pulling over can help address that. Both Roscoe and Rochelle's police departments stress the importance of equity and fairness. But one of these departments has the highest rate in our region of black drivers pulled over compared to white drivers, while the other has one of the lowest rates. We'll show you which is which in a moment. But first, what does it mean if a police department pulls minorities over at a higher rate than white drivers? The answer, not much. No matter what a department's rate is, the law does not require them to do anything to improve their numbers. Do you think that legislators have kind of dropped the ball on this legislation? I wouldn't say drop the ball on the legislation. That's Representative Will Davis. He's been a state rep since the traffic stop study law passed. And nine years ago, he was appointed to the Racial Profiling Prevention and Data Oversight Board to find out ways to help departments improve their numbers. There was just one problem. Uh, as even you shared with me, I, I guess over the years, I had forgotten that I was actually appointed uh, to that uh, particular, particular group. So that group, did it ever meet? They did not. That's right. 13 investigates found out the 13 people appointed to that board never met. There needs to be teeth to these boards, these task force, before the community feel as though these are just ways to shut us up. Rockford Representative Maurice West has been outspoken about the need for police reform and says he wants to take a closer look not just at the study, but at what's being done about it, both by law enforcement and lawmakers. Sounds like we need to bring this back to the t back to the table. Months after our interview with Davis and West, a new task force was formed. And this time, it actually has met. One of its members is Rachel Murphy with the ACLU. We have definitely seen racial disparities as a consistent trend with the data for many years. In our area, the data shows most departments have racial disparities. Take, for example, Freeport Police. It shows black drivers are pulled over at a rate of more than two to one, and they are more likely to get a ticket. They were also searched more often than white drivers, but less likely to have illegal drugs or weapons. That was also true in Winnebago County, Ogle County, and Rockford. In Belvedere, black drivers are pulled over at a rate seven times higher than white drivers, and their cars are searched at triple the rate, even though more contraband is found in the cars of white drivers. For now, Murphy says the goal is to get departments to take the initiative to improve their numbers themselves. We really encourage that law enforcement embrace this data. But that data is exactly what some departments take issue with. Let's circle back to Rochelle and Roscoe. 
Roscoe police pull black drivers over at a lower rate than white drivers, 0.63 to 1, while Rochelle pulls black drivers over at a rate 11 times higher than white drivers. But Rochelle says the formula, which only uses a local driving population, is stacked against it. This is a massive truck stop. It's not just the population of Rochelle. We have so many people that travel through here. And even Evans takes issue with part of the study. It shows her department pulled over American Indian or Alaskan natives at a rate 37 times higher than white drivers. I couldn't even believe it. And so I pulled the numbers um, electronically and I, I went through the tickets by hand and um, I couldn't find a single one. You couldn't find a single of the American Indian? A single traffic stop where we've stopped any, um, anybody in that classification. When she reached out to the group behind the study to find out what happened, she never got a call back. In fact, communication in general with the study, she says, is lacking. In years past, there was a letter that would come out, hey, your study's coming out, if you have any questions, let us know. I didn't get one this year. So you didn't even know it was coming? I did not. But is there any communication between the people who do this study and police officers? No. For Beery, he says his job to protect and serve will never change, whether the study changes or not. I have no control over what goes on in other agencies, other states. What I can do is make a difference here while I'm on shift the best that I can. The lawmakers are also supposed to get briefed about the results of this study. Representative West says that didn't happen in 2020. The next traffic stop study is set to come out July 1st.